Good morning. So I've actually been out at the barn for a little bit. I got all of the horses fed and I actually have Kane ready to go. We've seen it on the cross ties. I just have to put a bridle on him and then I'm gonna head out with him and try and jump him. He hasn't jumped in a few weeks so it'll be interesting to see what I have. But anyways, I'd like to get him done before Bella and Chloe's lesson this morning. The weather has actually been really nice for January. So we should be able to ride outside again today. I was able to ride outside yesterday. It was really, really nice. So before we really get into this vlog, here's some video of Flashy jumping yesterday. really sucks to be stuck with you today. No, no. It really sucks. I'm just not gonna have any help. She's just gonna be a little turd all day. Bella, you get a jump today. What? Yeah. I was scared for a <laughs> Where are you going? Bella, what are you doing? Someone's excited. <laughs> I'm good now. Dance it off. No, I can't. Did he get dizzy? Yeah. Oh no. Bella, go to her. She says what you do. Oh. No! <laughs> you just now realized what I was doing. I knew I had to deal with the pulpit. Thank you for not doing it to me. I you know it's better than to do it to you. You'll attack me. <laughs> You only need one M incoming. Hey. It all of a sudden got really aggressive. You started off <laughs> just like riding normal and now it's all caps. That's a very aggressive message. It's also worth mentioning that Bella's birthday isn't even until April, so she's a little ahead of herself on that one. Did Marco leave you a present? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have your eyes closed? Wrong hook. Yeah! I 
I think you cheated. No, I did not. Kane was a wild man this morning and I kind of figured that's what was gonna happen because I haven't ridden him outside in like a month it feels like maybe longer and he hasn't jumped since we've ridden outside so he was quite excited to see all of that again but i survived and it got a little better at the end i did jump cane a few days later and it went quite a bit better i finally got him to relax a little bit and he did something that he hasn't done at home in a very long time he cantered a little course and although there were moments when he really tried to fight coming back to me i felt like i had control which is a pretty big step up from just feeling like you're gonna die after every single jump so even though he's just jumping primarily cross rails right here, this was a huge deal for him because he hasn't even been able to canter into a line in so long without just completely exploding. So this was really a big deal. Bella and Chloe are inside and getting Marco and Flash ready. They're gonna have their lessons on them. They're both gonna jump a little bit today. Well, maybe Flashy, we'll see how it's going with Flashy, but that's the plan. I'm gonna head in and make sure they're still moving because they get distracted. Also, Nacho's down at doggy daycare right now, AKA my parents' house. He's just playing in the pool area with the other dogs. By playing, I mean he's jumping at the other dogs and they tolerate it until they get really sick of him and then he gets sent back down here to me. That way he can be outside because I have the barn doors open and when I have the doors open he's usually in his crate because I don't have time to keep track of him but doggy daycare, he's in a fenced in area so I don't have to worry about it. Hurry up, Bella. Have you even picked a sweet yet? No, because I've been using his face. Oh my gosh, Chloe, do you want to pick a sweet? Yes. Hurry up, Bella! God, you're so slow! Do you want don't You're slower than Marco! Do you you're just so slow! You want to you're the so pony slow! I love you, Fresh the Pony! How are you so slow? Because you were so mighty! I'm gonna talk like this the rest of the day! You just settle on the pony! You're so slow, and Chloe's so fast! Look at Flashy over there with his saddle. <laughs> Hi, Flashy. Hurry up, Bella. Hurry up. Oh, Kirk, come your face. Hurry up. <laughs> I'm already done picking his feet, and the last thing you've got a shadow right on him. No, you don't need a half pad. Well, Chloe knows more than you, Bella. <laughs> Yeah, she barely writes him. I ran the mounting block over with the tractor yesterday. Mm hmm Yep. I went just up in the air, got really scared, and then I was like, oh, well, we're not falling over, so I just kept going. Really? Ran it all the way over. All the way. That's what that sand's from. The tire on the tractor. I did that. Bella thought I meant that I ran over the top step of the mounting block with a tractor, which let me clarify, my driving isn't that bad. I didn't misjudge my space by that much. I only ran over the bottom step of the mounting block. This is the first course that Chloe's ever jumped on Flash. She's jumped him in like two or three lessons before, but it's only ever been a single cross rail. So this was a lot of progress for them as a pair.
beep, beep. Bella hasn't really gotten to jump in a while, which was why she was so excited when I told her she could jump today. But she definitely didn't look like she hadn't jumped in a while. I actually thought this was probably the best course she's ever done on Marco. She really looked like a rider up there. I could see her making decisions and no longer just sitting there kind of hanging on, going along with whatever the pony decided to do. And she started to figure out how to ask for Marco's lead change, which is a huge step because he's had it for a while now, but I've really been the only one able to get it because you have to ask pretty hard. So the kids are still really working on how to ask for it. They're used to the ponies that are very well schooled with it. So you can kind of get it right with them and they'll do it. But with Marco, you have to have everything right, and they're starting to get it. My animals never been good. I think I lost my last frame. Yeah, probably. I'm brattle and talk, Bella, I'm brattle and talk. Can you do this alone? Flashy left you a present. Yes. <laughs> go, 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 go. No. Bacardi was also very excited to be jumping today. Like Kane, he hasn't jumped in quite a while. Honestly, none of my horses have jumped since we've ridden outside, and it had been a while since we'd ridden outside, so they haven't seen any jumps in a while, and they were very excited for that today. No, 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 no. Uh, maybe Roxy will poop for you guys. Fun fact, Chloe hates pizza, so anytime I have pizza, I ask her if she wants some. After lunch, Bella just hacked Roxy since she had her lesson on Marco earlier.
Spitz hasn't jumped in months, so I kept things very, very simple with him today. My main goal was just keeping him relaxed. I got bits all taken care of and the girls got the fighting devil. The girls got Mr. Diablo Diablo ready for me. So far bits has been the best one to jump today. I'm about to hop on Pablo. I'm just gonna flat him. He like really hasn't done anything at all this week, so he's gonna have a pretty easy day and hopefully I can get it done before we run out of daylight. I am all done riding for the day. Chloe started feeding the ponies while I was on Pablo. So most of the ponies are fed, so we just have to deal with the big horses. And then Pablo is of course eating. We're gonna get everyone fed, and then I think I'm gonna clean all of the empty stalls tonight and get myself a little bit of a head start for tomorrow because tomorrow is my day for chores and I really don't like doing them in the morning because I really just wanna get to work on the horses I need to get through and not have to deal with all of that. So I like doing what I can at night and giving myself a head start. Was your dad in the way? Yes, he was. I saw him. He was trying to bite He was monkey. biting Monkey, but Monkey is very mean to him to be fair. Monkey is a very much a big turd. The dance did not be like that. Father. Stop it. Monkey. Kissing him, he kissed you. Why do your feet smell like poop? <laughs> he probably stepped in poop. poop. 
He's like, don't kiss me. <laughs> He's like, don't kiss me. I don't want no more kissy. <laughs> oh, his feet smell so good. Wanna smell them? Ew, <laughs> they smell. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.